COVID levels may be rising, but Stockholm's rush hour looks very much like it did before the pandemic. That normalcy, like in most cities around the world, is partly due to the global vaccination programme. A programme that received reflected glory in the Swedish capital on Monday, as two of its pioneers were awarded the most prestigious prize in science. The Nobel Assembly at Karolinska Institute has today decided to award the 2023 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine jointly to Katalin Kariko and Drew Weissman. Kariko and Weissman developed the mRNA vaccine that allowed a rollout of inoculations against COVID-19 within a year of the disease emerging. But it had been a long struggle. We, we couldn't get funding, we couldn't get publications, we couldn't get really people to notice RNA as something interesting. It, it had failed clinical trials and pretty much everybody gave up on it. But, you know, Katie lit the match and, and we spent the rest of, I don't know, 20 plus years working together, figuring out how to get it to work. I didn't know whether it is real, you know. We suspected maybe some, you know, prime, yeah. yeah. Maybe, I, I don't know. That may not have been an unrealistic assumption, given the relative speed with which the pair have been awarded their $1 million prize. It can take very many years, sometimes decades, for the Nobel Committee to recognise the work of a scientist. In the case of Kathleen Carrico and Drew Weissman, it's just under three years since their breakthrough made a decisive impact in the fight against COVID-19. It is rapid, but the vaccine that was so important to save lives was actually grounded on, on basic finding, in basic research, 15 to 20 years back. And that's, I think, important to people to understand that it's very important to have the tools in the toolbox when something unexpected happened, as the pandemic. mRNA allowed a vaccine to be developed that didn't need a weakened version of the coronavirus to be injected into patients. So sure. It could now be used to fight other diseases such as cancer. It's also given its pioneers a place in medical history. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Stockholm. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.